Hello, welcome back to the Spiders Web. And in this uh, video, we're going to be looking at Vincent Lee. And by looking at what I actually mean is painting. So, there's his character card, and there's his model. Um, again, we're looking at browns. Um, it seems to be a running thing with browns. Bear in mind, these stories were set from the 20s, 30s, where there wasn't all the vivid colours. Um, if we look at the other character cards, um, a lot of them are showing more browny colours than any other. So, usually it's the women characters or the female characters that have the, the colours to them and the men seem to be dressing in browns and black so we'll carry on with that theme and we're looking at uh, different shades of browns though we're not looking going to be doing them all the same as we did um, <coughs> Harvey Walters so for this one for his sleeves we're going to be using Talan Sand I'm just going to put his character card out of the way for the moment so we don't uh, we don't get it spoiled by paints, stray splashes, especially of, um, in fact, let's not use that for the time being. Let us go with the skin first. And we're going to start off with the skin with Ungar Flesh. And I'm not sure what colour this is change to with the new series of paints because um, I don't think this is one of the new series because it's not got the little catch on the back but I may be wrong okay so it's all the flesh areas are going to be done in this colour obviously as it's going go flesh I'm just going to get a little bit on my palette so I don't have to keep dipping into the pot. As it were, I don't want to keep dipping into a pot. I'm not a politician. Ooh. <laughs> okay, so there we go. And all of the skin. We go with this colour. As you can see, I'm still fighting this uh, infection. It's annoying me. More than just a little now. So that's his face done, and now his arms. And hands. And more like his wrists and hands than arms. But there we are, and I think this character is a doctor, if I remember rightly. Let me see, I'm sure he says he's a doctor. Yes, he is. He is, he is, uh. Backstory. There you go. You could have read that. Um, tum to tum to tum to tum to tum. You could have freeze framed that one, or stop the pause the video rather, and uh, read that one. So I'm not going into great detail through it. Okay, so that is the flesh area is done. I don't want to give him uh, what you call it. I don't want to give him um, brown hair. 
I'm going to look towards blonde ish and I'm just going to mix a little bit of yellow in with that colour a little bit more a spot of water just to lubricate because we will be going over with a wash which is going to change the colour again so we're going to go blonde this may work, may not work, I don't know yet, it all depends on what happens when we put the wash on. I may have to do something a little bit different with it. After the wash has dried, but we'll soon see. There we go. Um, so this is just the base coat, so we can't really go from. Um, we can't really judge this as the finished article yet. We have washes and highlights and shades to go into it. So, well, I'm saying shades. That's what the hat. That's what the wash is there for. And hopefully, it will give. A good base colour to uh, the shade, and then we can work from this. There we are. I know it looks a bit weird now. Bear with me. Hopefully, it works. <laughs> Next, we're going to be going with. Actually, what we're going to be going with is White Scar. The reason we're going with White Scar is because we have a little bit of what looks like a t-shirt type vest under there. Okay, so we have that there now. It's uh, shirt time, and I'm going to be using the Talon Sand that I picked out at first. I'm not going to be going with all browns for this. I've decided I'm going to change quite a bit from the brown. I'm going to make him look not military, but that kind of aspect with um, a bit of khaki as well there you go he's got his he's a bit dishevelled he's not his uh, He's not the sharp, sharpest dressed of people by the look of him. Very casual. There we are. So there's our face, wrists and hands, her t-shirt, shirt, done. I'm going to add now a different colour brown for his trousers. Again, I'm not going with the. Oh dear God, that's not what I wanted. Where's the colour I want? Where's the colour I want? I can't find it. Here we go. This is an old GW colour, tanned flesh. I'm hoping I've got enough of this in here. I'm just going to get some and pop it on my palette. Little spot of water 
just so to lubricate and with this we're going over his trousers it will change as time goes on it will not look this colour because it's um, it's going to have a wash over it I'll be using washes this time rather than just going straight over because the colours aren't incredibly deep I need much more of this Here we go. So just to build up the colour. It was a waste of time using the wash for Harvey Walters cap, uh, figure because I'd done a very deep brown and the wash wasn't going to make any difference to that whatsoever. I mean I could have gone even paler with the uh, highlighting. But I wanted it quite muted, quite dark. But I see him as quite kind of a serious character. Very studious, very stern, no nonsense kind of a bloke. And I see this guy's just a little bit, well, really opposite. Now, as you can tell from his clothing, he doesn't seem to be the archetypal doctor does he he looks he doesn't have the uh, the suit and the shirt and the tie and the professional look to him he's, he's more of the um, family friendly modern doctor that we seem to have nowadays So that's that's what we've got so far. I'm trying to work out what that he's, he's got in his left hand, but I don't know whether it's a saw or what it is. And what I should have done was shown you the uh, character card and the backstory for Harvey Walters in his. But while I'm just waiting for that to go, I'll show it now. There you go. So, a little bit of a, a look back at the previous video there. Now, um, where are we? Where are we? Where are we? Is that the one I want? Caliban? No, it's not Caliban Green. That's not the one I want. Silly Stephen. Silly Stephen. It's the other darkest colour green I want. Castell and Green. And this is going to be his shirt, his jacket, or whatever it may be. Okay, so again, I'll pop a bit on the and then I will apply it to the model now you may have noticed I'm keeping away from his uh, shirt his uh, jacket collar cuff rather 
in cuff you normally would have a lining well in a coat you'd have a lining um, and when you roll the sleeves up that lining will become visible so I'm going to do a slightly different colour for that which is why I'm doing that I don't know whether you thought that was obvious or not but I just thought I'd point it out just in case you're wondering why I'm leaving that bit there and all the model or most of the model is going to be uh, undercoat sorry not undercoated prime no for crying out loud Stephen get a move on most of the model is going to be uh, washed with Agrax Earthshade the only parts that aren't going to be uh, washed with Agrax Earthshade is the skin so Uh, the skin we'll be doing with um, probably Druchar Violet. Man, that was a surprise. You was expecting me to say Carol Bird Crimson, weren't you? I'm looking at a different skin shade, skin tones of this guy. So that's why I'm going to be using. Uh, Two chai violet for it. Oops, I need to do just a little bit of touching up at the bottom, so at the top of his uh, trousers, because I've uh, gone over with the. I've touched a little bit with the um, Uji Smith thingy um, with this uh, green. There we are. And next what I want to do is his belt and his case and for those we're going to be using Dryad Berg. Okay so his belt quite simply straight across no messing about. And his case, near enough exactly the same deal, just get the colour on the I think that's a saw. It looks it doesn't with the serrated edge. So I'm going to treat it as, as, as it is a saw. Could quite well be a bone saw. Oh, there's a few places I've missed anyway with the uh, tanned flesh. I am going to have to go back and uh, cover up the um, trousers, which I will do next. There's going to be a lot of, um, what's the word I'm looking for, there's going to be a lot of editing in this video because I'm doing a hell of a lot of coughing in this video. Um, I can't help it, sorry about that, um, but so I'm going to try and cut out as much of it as I can and I'm hoping that it's not going to uh, impact your enjoyment of the video in any way, shape or form. Um, I just wish I could get rid of this flipping cough, it's annoying the life out of me.
I think that much my chest actually hurts. Right, so. That's the majority of it done. What I'm going to do next though is give him a pair of boots and those pair of boots are going to be, well shoes, whatever it may be, is Rhinox Hide. The reason I'm doing Rhinox Hide for the boots rather than the, uh, rather than doing the um, Dryad Bark is simply because it's a different shade of brown. This is much warmer kind of brown because it's there's a little bit more red in this than the dryad bark in the mix so it gives it a much warmer feel shall we say so that's the shoes done now what we need to do is first coat the saw and then <coughs> it's time for washing. Um, so to base coat metal what I'm going to do is what I always do and that is when I can find the flipping thing I found the flipping thing I'm going to give it a blast with tin bits. Okay. There we are. And it's just then going to have a dry brush over with Steel Legion Drab once the uh, once the paint has dried. But first, while I'm waiting for that to dry, I'm going to go over all the model, except for the flashy areas with uh, the Agrax Earthshade. Um, oh, I need to do the cuffs as well, don't I? I need to do the, the roll-up cuffs of his jackets. I forgot about those. I'm glad you reminded me. Um, what colour should I do those in? In fact, I'm just thinking... Screaming skull, that will do. No one's anything flashy. Something quick and simple. That's all we're needing. There we are. And it'll cover up with the um, Agrax Earthshade. Not a problem. It should not take too long to dry. And I'm waiting, I think. What I will do is uh, I'll do his face with the Druichi Violet or Druichi Eye Violet, sorry I keep putting the eye where it shouldn't be <laughs> Okay, so we want a very small amount of this on the brush and carefully apply face
Okay, so as I said in the first video, um, I'm not going to be doing all the uh, investigator characters on camera. Um, if you'd like to see a particular one done, then let me know. I will uh, do, put a still video or still photograph at the end of uh, this second part of this video. And then you can let me know which one you'd like to see f next. Um, if uh, if I don't get any options, then what I will do is what I did to pick this fella and just do a random draw. Okay, this fella doesn't seem to want to have any of this colour on the left side of his face, so I'm going to make sure he gets some on the left side of his face. seems to be going on the right. There we'll go. Upwards like so. Okay. Um, next what we will do is get the Agrax Earth Shade and keeping away from the fleshy areas for the time being we will apply this quite liberally. You can see it's not incredibly dark, so it's uh, it would have been wasted putting it over um, what should we call it? Um, Harry Walters because it was a very dark brown we added to that character this one's picking out the shadows quite nicely in the areas we've applied it so far I just realised we've done his neck there and I've just gone over parts of it but never mind it will all cover up and now is her I think I may have to do something about this I'm not happy with the way it's looking um, I don't often do blonde hair, so... I may just dry brush over with Screaming Skull, that may help matters. If anybody's got an idea of, a better idea of how to do hair, um, if you could let me know, or even better do a video show me how to do it. We follow it that way better. That looks, yeah, definitely a bit too bright, a bit too yellow. As it stands. Never know, it may change slightly once it's dried, but I can't see it changing that dramatically. But we'll see. So when I come back we will carry on with this and see how we go. <laughs> 